Medical experts are calling this new TikTok trend anti-vax and they are not wrong. Whether these TikTok kids are joking or not, these viral videos may be causing a big stir in the real world. Today we'll be breaking down these troublesome TikToks right here on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm your host and bacon overlord Johnny Rogers and you're watching the number one tea spelling entertainment news show on the internet. Before we kick this video off, if you want to see more videos just like this one, all you got to do is tap that playlist in the corner of your screen. Also, if you want to get notified whenever we post new content, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Now, thank you for the delay. Let's get right into today's story. With the effects of the virus virus known as COVID-19 sweeping the globe and impacting the lives of so many, you would think that TikTok could just relax for a second, but nope. The newest trend on TikTok involves people pretending to experience painful and sometimes even sinister side effects from a COVID-19 vaccine. The posts were first noticed by Insider.com and according to them fall under the POV trend that has become popular on the platform. This is where the content creator invents a fictional scenario to tell a story. In terms of these recent videos, the people who are posting via this POV method will adopt the perspective of people who have received early access to the vaccine. Then it's usually followed by their own dramatization of them suffering from painful side effects as I mentioned earlier. Some of them even go as far as pretending to die after taking the vaccine. Now, clearly the majority of these videos are fictitious, but the harmful side to them is that they reflect the views and opinions of real world conspiracy theorists. They even utter the same buzzwords and follow similar tropes in the anti-vax cult. Sorry, community. Medical experts are now warning that these viral TikTok videos may help normalize the idea that vaccines are dangerous. Around 30 videos so far that fit this pattern have collectively been viewed over a million times. One of the more popular ones that has been liked over 230,000 times even warned that the vaccine was the start of the zombie apocalypse. Another one that had more than 700,000 likes shows a man begin to bark and growl as if he can control it following the vaccination. The videos all push the same propaganda of vaccines being harmful, but each one takes its own approach. For example, another video shows a young man being given a vaccine by a doctor. The narrative for this one, however, is that the doctor is part of a conspiracy to insert tracking devices en masse. I feel like these kids should just be working on, I don't know, a sci-fi script instead of maybe scaring gullible people on TikTok? I mean, I'm sure Black Mirror could use some more writers for the next season. That scenario that I just spoke about, though, has actually been acted on in the real world. And I say the real world because I want to make a distinction here. There is the world of social media, which is actually pretty minuscule, and then there is the impact that those actions have on the real world, the one that we all operate in. That scenario, if you will, is the widespread conspiracy theory that Microsoft founder Bill Gates was trying to implement tracking devices, and polling data from earlier this year found that 28% of Americans actually believe this nonsense. But then again, 48% of Americans weren't sure where chocolate milk comes from, and 7% said brown cows. Now, it's worth noting that a lot of these videos since writing this have been removed, but that doesn't mean that they haven't already had an impact. An immunologist and TikToker named Dr. Nock, who has more than 220,000 followers, is doing his best to combat misinformation spreading on TikTok. According to an interview he did with the Insider, the doctor had this to say. When you see the videos, you see they're clearly playful, and if you ask anybody about them, they would say that it's obviously a joke. Obviously, nobody thinks that the vaccine is going to turn some into a zombie. However, he said the videos could have an accumulative effect, which leads to social reinforcement of an idea that the vaccine isn't safe, which is exactly our concern as well and the reason for doing this video. The doctor went on to say, from what I've seen, there are two groups of people. One group I consider being actually anti-vax in that they are passionately anti-vaccine, either because they're against all of Western medicine or they think that Big Pharma is a hoax and trying to make money. That is only a small portion of the population, adding, but a relatively large portion of the population are people who actually don't know much about vaccines and are not sure what to do with all of the information that is fed to them on a daily basis. What these videos do is begin to plant seeds of doubt in the minds of anyone who's already questioning their trust in a vaccine. It's a huge myth that has only been further perpetuated not only by TikTok, but by so many other social media platforms. The concerning thing, and I've said this many times, is the fact that TikTok is allowing these videos on their platform in the first place. It seems like there is very little screening when it comes to content, and I know they have acted quickly in the past, but these dangerous trends just keep on piling up. All this does is show their concerned users that there is clearly a leak in the boat, and if it's not patched up soon, there will be another hole, and before they know it, TikTok executives may be neck deep in real problems. Although we all know that these social media platforms aren't meant to actually serve the people, they are simply tools to serve the advertisers paying the tech giants that have taken our personal data. But we want to hear your thoughts on the story though, so comment down below because I'd love to know what you think about this one, and while you ponder that, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, Cardi B Fury Says Offset Livestreams His Arrest. Divine says, don't you forget about me, I see he was dressed for the Breakfast Club musical. Thank you for noticing. Also, is there a Breakfast Club musical or am I just missing the joke that much? Here's Chica says, looks like Offset is getting upset. I'm sorry, the joke was there and somebody was bound to make that joke. Hey, she can never apologize for making a joke. I love the effort. Hannah says, just because you're famous doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. 
Hannah with the big facts. Okay, if I get famous and start acting up, someone please remind me of this. You crazy says, are you telling me that Offset was set off by the cops? <laughs> you crazy bringing it home for the win. What a great play on words. I love it. Kiki Hart says, Johnny Rogers is John Bender from The Breakfast Club. Noise. Yes, I'm so happy that you all actually knew what my costume was because everyone at work had no clue. They just thought I was switching up my look, I guess. <laughs> just decided to wear fingerless gloves one day. Made it cool again. Thank you so much for watching today's trending news segment and thank you to the most amazing team behind the scenes for all of their hard work. If you enjoyed this video, then please show some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Plus, don't forget to leave us a comment down below with your thoughts on today's story. And for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is hit that playlist when it pops up. From Inform Overload, my name is Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy.